Welcome, fellow enthusiasts of the glamorous and enigmatic world of celebrity lifestyles. Today, we embark on an exhilarating journey into the opulent realm of one of Hollywood's most esteemed figures, Mr. Danny Glover. As a seasoned journalist with a keen eye for unraveling the intricacies of fame and fortune, I am thrilled to guide you through the fascinating facets of Danny Glover's net worth, his luxurious fleet of cars, and the palatial mansion that serves as the backdrop to his illustrious life. All the details you need are right here in this video. Let's dive in now. Danny Glover, the accomplished American actor, producer, director, and political activist, boasts a substantial net worth of $40 million. Renowned for his versatility, Glover has seamlessly portrayed both villains and heroes across a diverse range of films. However, he gained widespread recognition for his memorable collaboration with Mel Gibson in the iconic, Lethal Weapon, film series. Danny Glover, born on July 22, 1946, in San Francisco, California, is a multifaceted figure whose journey through life and the entertainment industry is as rich and diverse as the roles he portrays on screen. Raised by postal workers Carrie Hunley and James Glover, who were active members of the NAACP, Glover's upbringing was infused with a sense of social awareness and community engagement. Graduating from George Washington High School in San Francisco, Glover embarked on his academic journey at San Francisco State University. Although he did not complete his degree, remarkably, the university later acknowledged his contributions by awarding him the prestigious Presidential Medal. Glover's entrance into the world of theater was marked by his association with the American Conservatory Theater, a regional training program in San Francisco. Under the guidance of Gene Shelton at the Shelton Actors Lab, Glover found a mentor whose influence he would later attribute significantly to his development as an actor, as revealed in an interview on Inside the Actors Studio. Making a pivotal career decision, he resigned from his city administration job to pursue his passion for acting, marking the beginning of his journey as a stage actor. The shift to Los Angeles became a turning point as Glover, alongside actor Ben Guillory, co-founded the Roby Theatre Company in 1994, paying homage to the legendary actor and concert singer Paul Robeson. This initiative showcased Glover's commitment to fostering artistic expression and preserving cultural legacies. In 1979, Glover made his on-screen debut in Escape to Alcatraz, and gradually built his repertoire with various small roles before securing the leading role of Albert Johnson in the critically acclaimed The Color Purple in 1985. The turning point came in 1987 when Glover became a household name, sharing the screen with Mel Gibson as Sergeant Roger Murtaugh in the action-packed blockbuster Lethal Weapon. The film's colossal success, grossing over $120 million upon its release, marked the beginning of a franchise that spanned three sequels over the next decade solidifying Glover's status as an action film icon. Beyond the realm of explosive action films, Glover showcased his acting prowess in the 1990 blockbuster, Predator 2, sharing the spotlight with Gary Busey. In a testament to his versatility, he received an Independent Spirit Award for Best Male Lead in 1990 for his compelling performance in Charles Burnett's To Sleep With Anger. Subsequently, Glover expanded his creative footprint by taking on diverse projects, starring in Angels in the Outfield, in 1994 and making his directorial debut with the short film, Override, on the Showtime channel. Stepping into the role of an executive producer under the banner of Carey Films from 1997 onward, Glover championed the work of first-time directors, contributing significantly to the cinematic landscape. His filmography continued to flourish with notable appearances in films like Wes Anderson's, The Royal Tenenbaums, in 2001 and the low-budget horror flick, Saw, in 2004, showcasing his ability to seamlessly navigate between genres. Glover's impact extends beyond the silver screen, he lent his voice to various children's movies and made memorable guest appearances on television shows. In 1998, the fourth installment of Lethal Weapon saw Glover earn a substantial salary of $7 million, equivalent to around $13 million today when adjusted for inflation, a testament to his enduring influence and marketability in the industry. In the years that followed, Glover continued to enrich his filmography, with notable performances in projects such as The Last Black Man in San Francisco, Strive, The Dead Don't Die, and Jumanji, The Next Level, in 2019. His contributions to the documentary feature, The People Speak, in 2009. Based on Howard Zinn's A People's History of the United States, 
underscore his commitment to projects that carry social and historical significance. Personal life. Danny Glover's personal life, like his on-screen performances, is characterized by a narrative of love, relationships, and transformations. In 1975, Glover exchanged vows with Asake Bamani, and their union bore witness to the birth of their daughter, Mandisa, in 1976. The complexities of life, however, led to the couple's decision to part ways. And in 2000, Glover and Bamani divorced, navigating the intricacies of separation. In 2009, Glover embraced a new chapter in his personal journey as he married Elian Cavallero. This union brought a renewed sense of companionship into his life. Nevertheless, relationships can evolve, and after over a decade together, Glover and Cavallero decided to go their separate ways, finalizing their divorce in 2022. Mansion in Los Angeles Danny Glover's residence in the La Cañada Flintridge area of Los Angeles provides a captivating glimpse into the actor's lifestyle and tastes. Spanning about 5,000 square meters, this house, once his cherished abode, reflects both elegance and simplicity. The interior of the residence boasts four bedrooms, five bathrooms, and three kitchens, portraying a sense of functionality and comfort. A closer look at the living room reveals a nostalgic design, featuring antique decorations and furniture that hint at Glover's penchant for a more uncomplicated way of life. Stepping outside, the beauty of the villa unfolds. Glover's personal touch is evident in the meticulous care of the surrounding trees, creating a harmonious connection with nature. The addition of a semicircular swimming pool adds to the allure, offering a balanced and visually appealing exterior. However, the story takes an interesting turn as Glover decided to part ways with this classic residence, selling it for a noteworthy $4 million. Current housing. The more recent addition to his property portfolio is a modern house, acquired in 2018 for a substantial sum of $4,200,000. Spread across approximately 6,000 square meters, this dwelling reflects a convergence of contemporary luxury and Glover's personal tastes. This contemporary haven boasts five bedrooms, six bathrooms, and three kitchens, epitomizing both opulence and practicality. Stepping inside, one is greeted by an array of wooden furniture, complemented by bookcases and an impressive collection of antique paintings, providing a glimpse into Glover's appreciation for artistry and timeless elegance. The kitchen, a focal point of this modern abode, stands out with its diverse designs. Suggesting a space where Glover may often indulge in home-cooked meals, given its gleaming appearance. Venturing beyond the confines of the residence, the grounds of this expansive villa unfold to reveal a wealth of amenities. Horse stables, a tennis court, and a swimming pool grace the exterior landscape, creating an ambiance of leisure and luxury. Rows of majestic green trees complete the scene, showcasing Glover's commitment to maintaining a harmonious connection with nature. Charity. Beyond the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, Danny Glover emerges as not just a remarkable talent but also a dedicated advocate for social causes, earning respect for his extensive philanthropy and community service. His commitment extends to championing economic justice and promoting accessibility to education and healthcare programs, both in the United States and Africa. Glover's involvement with humanitarian efforts took a significant turn in 1998 when he was appointed as an ambassador for the United Nations Development Program. This prestigious role reflects his dedication to addressing global challenges and fostering positive change on an international scale. On the home front, Glover is an integral part of the board of directors of the Black AIDS Institute, highlighting his involvement in initiatives that tackle critical health issues within marginalized communities. His support spans a diverse range of charities and foundations, showcasing the breadth of causes close to his heart. Among the notable organizations he has supported are Artists for a New South Africa. The Kids Are Free, Help America, Human Rights Watch, American Jazz Foundation, One Campaign, Plastic Pollution Alliance, Treatment Action Campaign, and UNICEF. Each of these affiliations underscores Glover's multifaceted approach to making a positive impact, covering areas such as the arts, human rights, environmental causes, and global health initiatives. In essence, Glover's philanthropic endeavors add another layer to his legacy, showcasing a man whose influence reaches far beyond the silver screen. Through his active involvement in these causes, he embodies the idea that true greatness is not only measured by talent but also by the positive change one brings to the world. Political Activism In the 2008 Democratic presidential primaries, Glover initially supported former North Carolina Senator John Edwards. 
However, when Edwards withdrew from the race, Glover shifted his endorsement to Ohio Congressman Dennis Kucinich, whom he had also supported in 2004. After Kucinich's departure, Glover eventually threw his support behind Barack Obama. This fluidity in endorsements showcases Glover's thoughtful consideration of candidates and their positions. In subsequent elections, Glover continued to exercise his right to endorse candidates aligning with his values. In 2016, he endorsed Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders for the Democratic presidential nomination, reaffirming his support in 2019 for Sanders' candidacy in the 2020 elections. Glover's involvement extends beyond endorsements to active participation in political discourse. In the 2017 French presidential election, he co-authored a petition urging citizens to vote for candidate Jean-Luc Mélenchon, aligning himself with a diverse group of influential figures. Notably, Glover has been an outspoken critic of former President George W. Bush, citing concerns about racial disparities in the criminal justice system during Bush's tenure as Texas governor. His critique reflects a commitment to addressing issues of systemic racism and injustice. Glover's engagement in domestic affairs is exemplified by his support for California Proposition 7 in 2008, where he utilized his voice in automated phone calls to garner backing for the measure. In matters of social justice, Glover's commitment takes a physical form as well. In 2010, he was arrested during a protest in Maryland, standing in solidarity with SEIU workers against Sodexo's alleged unfair treatment of employees. This arrest underscores Glover's willingness to take direct action in support of workers' rights. His reflections on the Obama administration reveal a nuanced perspective, acknowledging both continuity and divergence from the preceding administration's policies. Glover's commentary underscores his commitment to scrutinizing political decisions, regardless of the individuals occupying the highest office. Glover's influence extends beyond endorsements and activism he contributes intellectually as well. Writing the foreword for Phyllis Bennis' book, Challenging Empire, How People, Governments, and the UN Defy U.S. Power, and serving on the board of directors of the Center for Economic and Policy Research. He aligns himself with thinkers and institutions dedicated to challenging established power structures. Glover is also a member of the board of directors of the Center for Economic and Policy Research, a think tank led by economist Dean Baker. Thank you for watching the entire video. Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this, and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.